Hi everyone. Following this little announcement, you'll see the nine top wigs that I recorded in the live session today. Three short, three medium, and three long. If you were on the live video, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm hoping that you see that she's not a snow white. She truly is more of a vanilla, platinum-y kind of a color. She doesn't present with any yellow in my monitor at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you're seeing yellow, that's coming from your very own monitor. Weighs virtually nothing. It, as I've already said, it has an average cap. It's all synthetic hair. There's no human hair in here. Pretty much all around, it's three and a half in the front, it's three and a half on the crown, it's two and a half inches on the side, three inches in the back, the nape is one and three quarters, and as we've already said, it curves around, giving a lovely feminine look to your neck. It's not cut off in a straight line, it just gracefully hugs the neck. The bob, but look at the difference in the color. Now this is in the, the medium gray. And then also, in the light gray by Envy, the same, same wig, Eve. Look at the difference in these colors. This, this one here is the medium gray. This one here is the light gray almost white, right? So, big difference in colors, right? Big difference. Lots of colors. those that now let's take a close look at this um, at this lace front there's my widow's peak right there you almost can't even see where the boundary is from the wig I mean as I've said before you would have to get right on top of somebody and I am looking straight ahead into my mirror and I can't see. I can't see the end of that of, of that lace. Beautifully done. Beautifully, beautifully done. But I think the great thing is you really don't even have to comb her. I mean, you could comb her if you wanted to, but why bother? Uh, for me, you could see that I've got those. My white is showing. But again, I didn't really anchor it well. I probably would use a little bit of its stays right there. What do you think? Not bad, right? And this really is how I, before my hair started to thin, it looked very much like this. And I wore it like this, which is why I love Elle. It took me many wigs to get to Elle, let me tell you. See, she's kind of a long bob, but that 56F51, ladies, if you like, if you like your wig to feel more white than gray, you know, than that steely gray, this is the color combination that you want. You want the, you want the white, and you want the, um, and you want the light gray. I really, really don't. I wish I had a coupon code for you, but I don't. I've purchased this with my own funds. I'm working on that. If you all would like to see more videos like this, my mission is to help you save time, save money, 
not have to spend all the hours that I did to get a beautiful wig that you don't always have to send back and you know lose a, get a re, get hit with a restocking fee. <laughs> running from the bottom of your neck to, to the end of the wig is, I believe, 16 inches. And again, she weighs 6.6 6.6, somewhere in there. I think that you're going to love her. I love her too. lost what because of having started losing my hair I started to look for quality silver gray and white wigs and my hair is very white like this like this wig sorry it's a little shiny because I'm sitting under light it's it's evening now but I wanted to get this, this video done <laughs> 